We are honored this afternoon as part of our group of elders representing the four directions and the center, our five elders, to have two who represent the council of 13 indigenous grandmothers. And we have their president, Agnes Baker Pilgrim, and grandmother Flor de Mayo. And so, which one is going to come up to present the short presentation that we now have from the Grandmother's Council? You'll both come up. OK, so they're going to come up to give you a short presentation of the indigenous, 13 Indigenous Grandmother's Council, their mission, what they're doing. And then right after that, we will have a short break so that we can set tables. And then all of our five elders will be here for the panel for the afternoon discussion. So first, Grandmother Agnes and Grandmother Flo de Maya. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'd like to say we are your voice as we travel the world. And we pray that we make it loud and clear that our, our words that we will say as we journey will have meaning, and love, and peace, harmony throughout the world that we want people to be strengthened to help our Earth Mother and do what you can. Tell people that our rivers and streams are not a garbage dump. That our women should not be abused. Neither should our little people. That we carry a message that we pray will make a difference in the world of grandmothers, in the world of mothers, in the world of the givers of life. Women are the natural nurturers of this earth. In the movies, you will say that we are multimodal, us women. As I say, I used to nurse my child, stir the stew, and kick the cat out at the same time, <laughs> which is proof we can do three things at once. <laughs> to the astonishment of the men. <laughs> but it takes the female and the male to balance in all things. And as we journey, we wish to let people to know that we need to come back and do all things in balance and moderation. With a mile, sister. Thank you, grandmother. Um, I would just like to um, say that uh, the Grandmother's Council is two and a half years old. We came together in 04. And between the 13 of us, we are almost 900 years old. <laughs> we have four generations with us of grandchildren, of children, children, grandchildren, great grandchildren. And Grandma Agnes has five generations. So we walk with the wisdom of 900 years of feminine knowledge. I want to thank everybody here, the seed carriers of our generations to come. I want to thank the spirit of the children that are here, the children that are our future. I want to thank them, the parents that brought the children to be here with us. Thank you, enjoy the film. Well, we came together in 2004, in the first time in the history of the world. We have now recently come back from His Holiness the Dalai Lama in India. I asked him, what do you think about us grandmothers coming together like this? He said, it is time. You are the natural nurturers. You are the wisdom of the world. And I pray that grandmothers, and I visioned in New York that there will be mushrooming, they like the word, <laughs> mushrooming grandmas all over the world <laughs> coming together for peace and all the things that we have in our declaration. We have about, I think, about six more books out there for sale that our declaration is in it, which are, is an extension of our words. And I pray that 
our medicine will flow, flow through you and on to the seventh generation. And that we pledge to keep on keeping on until our hearts are on the ground. Thank you so much and enjoy our little trailer. I would like to say Laughing Willow in New York, Carol Hart. We have a movie coming out next year. Look for it. It's for the next seven generations. Okay? Thank you. We are 13 indigenous grandmothers. We gathered from the four directions from the Amazon rainforest. The vast plains of North America. The Arctic Circle. The Black Hills of South Dakota. The Great Forest of the American Northwest. The Highlands of Central America. The Mountains of Mexico. The Desert of the American Southwest. The mountains of Tibet, and from the rainforest of West Africa. Look at the nature, look at the water, look at this air, look at this fire, the sun even. Look at this earth. We are in the 11th hour. Mother Nature is angry. And we're not gonna fix it unless we change. Well, if we don't take care of the animal kingdom, we are destroying ourselves at a rapid rate. If we don't quit making garbage dumps out of our rivers and streams, we're getting more and more in trouble. In my homeland, in my village, there is violence. What is happening in my village is happening in the world. I live by the reservation, Northern Cheyenne. The day before yesterday, I came here. There were two shootings on the reservation. <laughs> one death, one wound. There's got to be a change, and there's got to be a better way. If we don't listen, if we don't come back to the original people, we'll, we won't wake out of this nightmare. On ne doit plus reculer. We can't go backwards anymore. On ne doit plus avoir peur. We can't have fear anymore. Le temps est court. Time is short. Le temps nous est, nous appelle. Time is calling us.
Yeah, hey, yo.